Hi there, and today I'm just going to take you through fixing a black fabric background. And uh, what uh, often happens in this situation is that we end up looking at uh, reflected light on the background and we're seeing the folds and if there are any wrinkles in the black background, I mean, this isn't too badly wrinkled but often these fabric things are so if you're using a black background to take a natural light portrait which is what this is this is what i'm talking about really slightly different situation if it's if it's lit um but uh in this case what we really want to do it just make this black background black. We want to lose this reflected light, which is distracting. And we don't really want to be looking at the, the details of the folds and wrinkles in the background. So the first thing I'm going to do actually here, and I'm just going to fix the exposure, which I think is a little bit over. Um, so I'll just quickly do that first. And uh, I'm going to drop that down about 60, I think. And at this point, I will, um, as some of you will know, if you've watched other videos, I will often just ask myself whether I'm happy with the white balance. And so here I can experiment um, to try and see if I think I could perhaps get slightly more realistic skin tones uh, and you you can experiment with that um, to your heart's content really but I think that will probably do for this so we've uh, reduced the exposure which I think has improved things a bit uh, and it certainly darkened the background but now all that I would really do is I would uh, fire up a selective color layer and the way I tend to approach this now is I tend to push some black just using relative push some black into the neutrals to begin with perhaps say around in this case perhaps something like 15 uh, and that darkens the background quite a bit, but then I would select my blacks. And what we're, the essence of what we're really doing here is making the black background more black. So we're pushing black into the blacks. And when we move the black slider across, you should be able to see this at a certain point. All those reflections and details on the background are disappearing, and we're getting this. Uh, much nicer just a sort of pure black background now uh, it may be apparent to you that we're also pushing black into our subject as well but that's okay because we're going to pull that off the subject when we when we feel we've got this right so you can move your uh, add black into your blacks until you think uh, it's okay and then because we've already got the white mask available to us on the selective color layer we can then just take our black brush and in the interest of blending it's worth pointing out that we may want to keep some of this on our subject so what we could do is we could start out fairly gently past T70 flow around the middle and just remove the uh, effect of the selective color layer actually from our subject. and uh, from her garment as well so 
And obviously, you know, it depends how you feel about this and you may want to experiment with. Um, different passes, uh, different you know, intensity of, um, of the effect, or taking away the effect. We might want to push it up and do another pass. We're probably particularly interested in keeping the eyes nice and bright. And then if I just drop that layer, you can see quite easily the effect of what we've done just using selective color. And we have done some brushing just on the subject, uh, but it's really been, it's been quite easy to do this. And what we're also, you know, once again, what we're also always looking for when we do this kind of thing is a, a nice blending between the background and the subject. We've changed the background considerably and we just want to make sure that our subject blends in appropriately. Uh, and so there it is, uh, very simple. That is the way to, um, if you're using a black background and you have unwanted reflections, uh, wrinkles and so on on your black background, uh, we're just using selective color to push more black into the blacks and that will give you this nice uh, deep black velvety background against which your subject will stand out really really prominently okay so that's it and uh, thanks uh, very much for watching and listening and i hope you'll find that useful